What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today is a super exciting video because I am collabing with my friend Brandy. Hi! Hey everyone, thanks for having me Chelsea. Today's video is going to be all about the Winter Fancy Food Show, a three-day expo of just food and drink everything. <laughs> it did not disappoint. So we went two days. We did day one and we did day three. We took a break. <laughs> break in between because we were exhausted. We didn't see everything. There was a lot to see. This was at Moscone Center in San Francisco and it was in like pretty much all available trade show space and there's everything from like spices and like packaged food to things like Wagyu beef and oh, Serrano sorry. ham and like really fancy like imported foods mm -hmm. but then also things like packaged potato chips and popcorn. <laughs> you also get first access to products that are launching this year that maybe haven't even hit shelves in retailers yet. The show kind of brings together the manufacturers and importers of foods mm -hmm. with the retailers and then like media yeah. like us. What I found was really interesting is a lot of the manufacturers that we spoke to had a very love-hate relationship with Amazon yeah. because so many packaged foods now are available on Amazon Prime. Everybody has a Prime account. Mm -hmm. We have that two-day standard for shipping and a lot of the products we'll show you today are available on Amazon and we'll be sure to link them down below. But we wanted to show you a haul of everything we picked up that we're super excited about. We got even more stuff in this, but these are truly the highlights. And we're gonna bring mm -hmm. this video up into like the savory stuff and then the sweet stuff because... Yes. And then oh. drinks. <laughs> yes, and that was the best way to organize it because it was... A lot of stuff. We had like four plus swag bags for yeah. food. Yeah, it was a lot of lifting. <laughs> yeah. Before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And after you're done watching this video, head over to Brandy's channel. Yeah. We're going to be doing a taste test over on her channel. So make sure you subscribe and watch that video after this one. All right, without further ado, let's hop into the haul. Yeah. Okay, let's go into uh, bean territory with uh, bean field chips. It's a bean chip. Right? I've seen these before. You have? Okay, mm -hmm. this is my first time seeing them. And they tasted great. I thought that was like really neat. Well, they, they probably had like 12 flavors. They had a lot sample, of flavors. So <laughs> we went to the booth and you know. It's an interesting concept. Gluten free, non-GMO, vegan. The thing that, that stood out for me from this uh, food show is that a lot of things are just alternative ingredients. Right, so like other, familiar foods like yeah, a tortilla chip. Yeah, right. so that was, was neat. Navy beans was the base. Like yeah. I was, when you hear bean chip, I always think of like chickpea or something yeah, like that, but navy true. beans seem different. And these also have brown rice. And there's a ton of seasoning on these, so yeah, you know, kind of like a Dorito. This Pretty one good. Has navy beans. This one has black beans. Oh, oh and navy beans. I think I've seen these at Whole Foods or Sprouts. So oh, okay, cool. good one to look out for. Yeah. Okay. So these were one of my highlights yeah. of the show. These Super are cute. avocado <laughs> puffs. Super I like the packaging. The, the packaging. Little, the little guy. You think of like avocado as like 100% fat, right? It is a healthy fat, but somehow they've made avocado into a flour. So these have rice flour, avocado oil, and it's kind of like the texture of pirate's mm -hmm. booty. So mm -hmm. if you're yeah. used to that like puffed rice. Vegan ranch. And, and this is a uh, vegan cheddar. The ranch was my favorite when I tried it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I love both. They were really good. We're going to be eating these later in the taste test video. <laughs> my stomach is grumpy. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, I'm going to say this wrong. Terre exotique. exotique. <laughs> Uh, it was a booth of a bunch of different seasoning and spices, sea salt with roasted spices from Madagascar, and white penja pepper. So I'm looking forward to cooking with these. The packaging is really pretty. And it just seems like a very premium kind of brand. Yeah. I love using like bougie spices when mm. I cook because I'm not very talented at cooking. <laughs> so when I have like really flavorful, like delicious spices, high end, like, you can really taste the quality, it makes your cooking yeah. like... Go up a couple notches. Yeah, they say packed in France. Beautiful saffrons and truffle salt and all that kind of yeah. good stuff. So this is just a couple that we're going to be trying and testing out. Cool stuff. This is going to make really fancy avocado toast. <laughs> yes. Yes. So one thing to note about the fancy food show is that certain importers have certain sections, like products of a certain country. So the first one that we went to was the Japan Pavilion yeah. because we wanted to taste all the delicious Japan imports. Things like matcha, yuzu fruit, yeah. yuzu rice. Yeah, was very popular. So many mushrooms. Oh my goodness, the shiitake is oh. top notch. So the spices actually were from the France Pavilion, but you know, sections like New Zealand where they have tons of manuka honey. Peru where they're importing like pisco and things yeah. of that nature. There's so much cheese. Guys. Oh my god, cheese so of every country, cheese. of Britain, of Switzerland, of Netherlands, of France. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. So in the Japan Pavilion, we discovered this brand. This is the Sugimoto 
shiitake company and these are imported shiitakes from Japan. The thing that makes these so premium in taste is that they're able to grow naturally in the forest. Yeah. They're not farmed. They grow on a specific type of, I think it's an oak tree. I can't quite yeah. remember, but I'll link their website down below and these are available on Amazon. And we tried these at the yeah. show. So they, they rehydrate them. Yeah, they re rehydrate them. So they're shelf stable as is. And they had two preparations at the show. They had them in a regular dashi and then they had them in a vegan, vegan dashi. dashi. And the vegan dashi yeah. had so much flavor. Yeah, it had like, you know, that pack of umami. Yeah. So good. And you couldn't tell that these were previously dehydrated yeah. mushrooms. Like they tasted just like fresh, mm -hmm. delicious, succulent, juicy mushrooms. Yeah. I just love So good. So. And they also had a great mascot. Oh my God. Yeah. The guy, <laughs> I'm not sure if it was the founder or the president, but he had a mushroom hat on. He was like hugging everybody, posing for pictures. We didn't even to take a photo with him. I know. He was really busy and popular. So. <laughs> I think it's only 10 calories per mushroom and they get a little bit bigger when they're rehydrated but these are delicious and definitely something that can upgrade your cooking at yeah. home and they're available on amazon yeah like i said there was a lot of cheese <laughs> so much cheese at this event but one of the spots that we stopped by was cypress grove and they had these super cute samples uh with different song right song influences. yeah so psychedelic dillic fresh goat milk cheese with dill and dill Pollen. We have the Sergeant Pepper, <laughs> goat milk cheese with chili, curry, and harissa. Purple haze, fresh goat milk cheese with lavender and fennel pollen. I think this one was really good. I think they had a sample of that there. Uh, Miss Natural, just the pure and simple goat cheese, and herbs de Humboldt. Herb, herb de Humboldt. <laughs> yeah, it's like herb de Provence. <laughs> With, with Herbe de Provence. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure if this is how they come in store. You that's a that. great size. Yeah. For a little snack. Cheese take it with you. And uh, that's like a fun cheese brand. They're out of Humble. They don't take themselves too seriously. Like, mm -hmm. hence this like fun little label. Yeah. They're most famous for that Humboldt fog cheese. You know, that soft rind cheese with that like blue layer in the middle. So good. This is one with the cheese uh, wedding cake. Yes. <laughs> yes. They, they have that at their booth and it's a, really a showstopper. It's just beautiful. Yeah. Um, cool. They have really good cheese, so definitely yeah. was a fan of that. Mm -hmm. Another dairy booth that we saw was Bellwether Farms and they are most famous for their sheep milk products, I believe. It's made from pure sheep's milk. This is their yogurt and this is the strawberry mm -hmm. flavor. So it's out of Sonoma County, so th you know, hey. that's my new, <laughs> my new home. Um, gotta represent. It says sheep's milk has double the protein, almost twice the amount of healthy fats than, you know, basically cow's milk. And they, they had cheese too, so I love me a sheep's milk cheese. <laughs> We're gonna try the yogurt a little bit later on Brandy's channel and we'll let you know how it tastes. Yeah. One of the first things we tried was this uh, obokichi uh, chili miso condiment and you got the curry miso, curry miso condiment. We have one other product from her. It's a miso soup yeah. concentrate. But this is made from the byproduct of that. sake right. blending. If you've never used like a little chili garlic paste like this mm -hmm. before, we have a little pamphlet <laughs> and really you can use this on anything. If you like a spicy kick on anything, you could have this on pizza, burgers, macaroni and cheese, pasta, baked potato, Ooh, gnocchi, french fries, a mm. little bit of anything, Pierogies. honestly. <laughs> I would even put this on like a Buddha bowl or even like a salad. Oh, like, yeah. like if you had a salad Buddha with bowl. quinoa or like rice in it and you just want to kick it up a notch, mm -hmm. just taking a small teaspoon of this and making sure that you get some of the seeds some of the oil, make sure it's fully incorporated. Yeah. It's like a nice way to add a little kick. Uh, the curry one that I'm holding is mild and vegan. Yeah, mine is mild and vegan too, and it has Good. just the one uh, flame. Okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> so not either. super duper hot. A great option if you just wanna add tons of flavor. Yeah. You can use it as a marinade. On here it says marinade, poultry, fish, and meat. It's good for cooking, uh, sauces, dips, soup, stir fry. So lots of ways you can use this. It's just one of those powerhouse, like pantry, like yeah. staples, like, Life's too short for bland food, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm looking forward to using mm -hmm. this, for sure. Me too. Because it was really tasty when we tried it. Um, yeah, and so is this. So this is the miso soup mm -hmm. paste. So I love miso soup. Like, it just always hits the spot. Yeah. And this has four servings, and you can have it in a mug. Oh, this is also low sodium. So if you're looking for a low sodium option, that's really hard to find with a yeah. lot of miso. This has no MSG. This so. other the other product didn't have any either, and yeah. it's made with organic soybeans. Yep, naturally fermented. So good stuff. Check them out, Abokichi. They're based in Canada, but I believe you can get them on Amazon. Yeah. So last for the savory category are these. These are by the Asha Noodle Company, and I love these, specifically these, because they're a Taiwan-style instant mm. noodle, and 
they're really minimal ingredients. Again, no crazy MSG or anything weird in it. It's just wheat flour, salt, water. There's a sauce base of soy sauce, sesame paste, white sesame oil, and citric acid. You can kind of add a little bit of the pasta water into this to mm -hmm. kind of make it like a really wet oh. noodle. So it's not really like, it's not like ramen ramen, right. but it is an instant noodle. Literally boils in like four minutes or less. Wow. So when we saw the booth, I was like, yes! <laughs> I always get this at Costco. So they actually just launched this one, the Hakka noodle. We tried this at the booth, it was really good. Mm -hmm. But you can upgrade it at home if you want to add maybe some of those shiitakes yeah. or any kind of like leftover meat you have from last night's dinner. Mm -hmm. Good way, you can add a uh, fresh green onion on it. So budget friendly and you can find these, I saw them most recently at World Market. Yeah. So. Now we're gonna move on to the sweet category. <laughs> Lots of good stuff here. This is Brandy's favorite. Yeah. Part. Take it away. Ooh. Okay. Well, I did want to give a shout out to a shot <laughs> to Waffle Shot. We tried this our second day. It's a woman founded company. They are edible waffle uh, cone cups with a little surprise at the bottom, like ode to the drumstick. And it can hold coffee, ice cream, alcohol, or all three if you're, you know, bold. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> you have a recipe. Uh, it's just yeah. fun. Yeah. Like, it's, it's just fun. fun. Like you have girls night. I know in our Trader Joe's holiday hall, we were talking a little bit about like boozy festive yeah. cocktails. This would be the perfect vessel mm -hmm. for that. <laughs> it makes a fun statement, especially yeah, for a party. I like the possibilities with it, especially. I'm really into pudding lately, so I think doing chilling Ooh. some pudding in this would be really bomb. A little, little cool whip on top. Oh my gosh. So good. Next up, we have to give a shout out to Complete Eats. Yeah. Full transparency, my friend started this company and <laughs> it's so awesome to see them grow so much. This is actually version two of their packaging and they've released so many flavors since the beginning. If you've never heard of this brand, this is a plant-based cookie company and it's woman founded. They are a healthier cookie option. So it's still an indulgence. <laughs> yeah, it's still an indulgence. It's 260 calories on average, depending what flavor you get. Mm -hmm. Cherry, newest. almond. Oh. Chocolate yes. chia. Mocha chip. But these are made with almond butter, dates, like ingredients that you can recognize. And they keep you full because there's a lot of chia and like healthy mm -hmm. omega-3s in it. And they are delicious. And what's really exciting is that they just became available on Urban Outfitters. So you can get these not only on Amazon, mm -hmm. but also on Urban Outfitters and in select Urban Outfitters stores. You had your own booth there and it just... There were a lot of women yeah. know, overall at, oh my the, God. at the show, and it just um, it was great to see them represented. I did share a blog post mm -hmm. um, on those at least eight that stood out to me, if you want to check it out. <laughs> we will link it down below. <laughs> you know, we want to make smarter choices. Like, don't deprive yourself of a cookie. Find a cookie that works for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, love it. Okay, another fun, innovative product uh, is the Let Them Eat Candles. Uh, they're edible candles and you can light it and they won't melt the chocolate. You do have to remove the wick. <laughs> so not yeah. all of it's edible. <laughs> but it's such a fun uh, way of celebrating and not, I mean, I would always feel bad removing the candlesticks off of the cake mm -hmm. and like throwing them away. Like, Wasteful. wow, that, not that wax is super bad, but this is, this is so fun. She had a bunch of different flavors and designs, so that was really cool to see yeah. as well. You don't need as many to make the impact. Okay, so one of the first booths that we stopped by, I ran into an old colleague there. The company is Too Good Gourmet, and they make these like fresh baked, homemade tasting cookies, but they make them in a way that they are giftable, packageable, yeah. and they stay like that fresh homemade consistency for up to a year. Yeah. So like even touching it, it feels like soft. It feels very soft. <laughs> and they do like tons of gift boxes and like yeah. all kinds of specialty confections and baked goods. So that was really cool to see. And they're also like up to date on the trends. They have a, a keto friendly cookie. I think it's chocolate chip. So we'll have to try this. I'm not <laughs> keto, but if it tastes like a cookie, it's a cookie in my eyes. So <laughs> we're gonna try this. And these ones are lemon cake batter. Yeah, this sounds really good. Brandy does a lot of baking, so <laughs> she will be the ultimate judge. No, no, no. I just eat a lot too. <laughs> You, you must have seen in the grocery store, if, you know, if you're passing by the cereal aisle, Bob's Red Mill, all the clear packaged um, ingredients, like flour. They gave out a book, and I didn't know this. Bob's a real person. <laughs> we were able to meet. We met Bob. <laughs> Make sure you go to our Instagram to see some of our stories from the fancy food show. Yeah. Bob had a photo op, and we were like some of the last people that got to meet him. Yeah. He was a character, man. I'm a fan of the oatmeal. I've mm -hmm. had it before. I haven't used a lot of the baking ingredients just because I haven't really been re replenishing lately, but they did have these new products, uh, the peanut butter chocolate and oats. The new product is Bob's Better Bar. Yeah, and this is the peanut butter jelly and oats. I don't know if you got a different flavor. I ate that one. Oh. <laughs> 
Bob's is available like, yeah. at every grocery store. Keep an eye out for these. They are gluten-free, non-GMO, and whole grain. So yeah. keep you full for longer. Yeah, and that is the focus of the little recipe book also, right? Mm -hmm. They were giving this away. He was doing a book signing too. Whole grain recipes. I got a kick out of meeting Bob. <laughs> yeah, that was a surprise. Did not expect that. And the fact that he's like wearing like the red vest <laughs> and like the cap that is so meta. Is in his like logo. <laughs> I love it. So good. So, Rip Van M Waffles has come up with some new flavors and minis. So they sell these on Amazon and you can find them at a lot of grocery stores, but the minis are something to look out for because they're more calorie conscious, yeah. you know? Treat, I love Stroop Waffles. I do too. They're so, so good. good. So we have a Snickerdoodle flavor and a Cookies and Cream. Mm -hmm. Snickerdoodle's 34 calories, the Cookies and Cream is 37 calories, and they both have one gram of sugar. Mm -hmm. Enough to satisfy your craving, and then you can move on with your yeah. life. So I thought that was really cool, and you can get like a, a big pack if you're ordering for a family or mm -hmm. yourself or your office, so. Yeah, <laughs> these are the cannoli, golden cannoli, cannoli chips. They also have um, cannoli chips and they come with like a dip so you can like get it for a party. There's like party platters. That was delicious. But these are the cannoli chips. This one's a powdered sugar. This one's cinnamon and sugar. They were they were both so good because I got to try both. <laughs> so good. I had one in my gift bag but like it didn't make it until this video so I ate it. It was delicious. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean I'm a big fan of cannolis. Nice crunch. Good, good amount of sweetness. So I would say look out for it. I don't remember where it's, we didn't get a chance to ask him where. Yeah, they were a really busy booth. So <laughs> keep an eye out for, for them. If reason. we can find them online, we will link them down yeah. below. Next is our X bar. Oh, it matches. <laughs> These are, yeah, I know, right? These are pretty widely available. Target, Whole Foods. Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's even. And they have a ton of flavors. I think at the Fancy Food Show, they were launching this red one, which is chocolate, chocolate cherry. Um, and potentially the banana chocolate walnut. walnut. And then they also had like a uh, nut butter. Yeah, that's right. Nut butter packets. It's like a healthier option and just something I like to keep in my bag, maybe when I'm commuting mm -hmm. into the city and I can feel the hanger coming. Um, these are just like really nutrient dense. Yeah, um, protein bars. Protein bars, yeah. So love these, I can't wait to try the lemon. I'm pretty sure it's Chow. Uh, so Chow had a booth, which I look forward to. I love, this is like a real treat to me, like a specialty grocery store. There was a point when I would like have one of these in like my office and be like, I'm treating myself today and I really love the s'mores. There's a s'mores bar that I liked and the honeycomb crisp. This is their new flavor. It is a white chocolate with cacao nibs, which was really uh, different spectrum, but a really good flavor. They also had a uh, bark that they mm -hmm. were sharing, a s'mores bark, which was unbelievable. But I got to walk away with this sample and I think you already ate yours. <laughs> I ate mine again. It's so good. Like, it's the perfect it's blend rich. because yeah. if you love the super creamy white mm -hmm. butter fat kind of flavor of white chocolate and you also enjoy the contrast of like a, a bittersweet like dark chocolate, this has like little cacao nibs yeah. in it. And so when you eat it all together, it kind of just like blends the flavor and it lingers in your mouth and it's just, yeah, it's so good. Really good crunch. It's not a wow. It's not a chew wow. <laughs> I guess that's how you pronounce it. Chew wow. And it's free of artificial preservatives. Artificial colors and flavors, artificial sweeteners, and trans fats. Next up we have Split, and this was really interesting. We didn't really talk to the people at the booth too much, but we were handed out these. This is like a snack pack of PB and J. Yeah. So instead of PB and J, it is almond butter and blueberry spread. Great thing for portability, mm -hmm. but just sometimes if you just need a snack on the go, great little packet, and they actually are perforated in the center, so you can tear them apart if you only want one side mm -hmm. or the other. Great for camping or maybe like a trip or mm -hmm. like you're just packing some snacks in your bag on the go. It's wild blueberries actually, which are like the, the smaller, mm -hmm. sweeter blueberries mm -hmm. that have like more antioxidants in them. So I'm looking forward to trying this. Yeah. And these are out of Chicago. So never heard of this brand before, Split. Keep an eye out for it. Only contains four ingredients. It's gluten-free and non-GMO. Want to give a shout out to another female owned company uh, from San Francisco, Just Date Syrup, and also the Just Pomegranate Syrup. These are cool because they are a low glycemic index sweetener, just made from dates. And this one has pomegranate juice with the medjool date. These are really tasty. Yeah, and like it's like really like high viscosity, so like a substitute for maybe a maple syrup or honey. Mm -hmm. Depending on how you use it in your life, you can use this in your coffee or your tea. Salad dressings. Baking. Yeah. On dessert. I would just Cocktail. put this. Cocktails. This one. Cocktails. Oh my god. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> I think they 
get the dates from California. So we make some pretty good dates here. And it's a better for you sh sugar because it has potassium, magnesium, antioxidants, and again, it's that low glycemic index. I really love the flavor of this. Yeah. <laughs> I want to put it on that yogurt. Ooh, yes. Good idea. Last up for the sweet category, we have these two products from Ozeri Bakery. Yes. This is the snacking rounds in blueberry flavor. These are the morning rounds in apple cinnamon. They do offer other breads, like more savory mm -hmm. uh, sandwich breads, but these are the ones I picked up. <laughs> I can kind of smell this in the package. And they're low fat, contains whole grains, it's vegan, there's no artificial preservatives in these. You could use these for a variety of things. I would put cream cheese on this. Mm -hmm. I would put all kinds of fruit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, one of the butters would go really good on this too. The so for our last category, we're going to move into drinks. Yeah. We got these adorable mugs from a brand called Leaner Creamer. Leaner Creamer. Uh, mine says coffee now. You later. Mine says love you so much. <laughs> I'm not going to say I was a little apprehensive going to this booth. I'm just not a creamer person. I drink my espresso black. And I just never have been much of a creamer person. If anything, I'll like froth up some almond milk and put it in my coffee mm. if I'm feeling fancy. And I have time. I usually <laughs> have time. fancy. Are you a creamer person? I am a creamer really? person. Really? Okay. I okay. cannot drink coffee straight by. I have a sweet tooth, obviously. <laughs> um, lately, I've been drinking Chobani sweet cream. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the guy at the booth was like, no, 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 let me sell you on this. Let me send you some samples. Yeah, let me uh, convert, us. To convert you. And it's a coconut oil creamer. Yeah, it's so innovative. So it is a powder, but it is coconut oil based. It is sugar free, low calorie, lactose free, obviously, and of course, gluten free. Mm -hmm. And this is the hazelnut flavor. He had a few flavors. Sometimes I will have creamer if the coffee is really bad, you know, <laughs> to kind of like revive it a little bit. But I thought that was so sweet. They gave us these um, yeah. mugs and these are just like, like, I think I've seen stuff similar to this at like Alfred's Tea in LA where they have all the cute like mugs for sale. Mm. So that was really nice of them. Yeah, this will be in my desk. Yeah. We're gonna have this in our taste test yeah. and we might try it with some coffee or with some uh, tea this afternoon. Yeah. So stay tuned for more. Yeah. Sticking with the coffee world, I wanted to highlight the One Fresh Cup. So these are individually packaged pour over coffee. So these would be great uh, hiking. You can't carry, you still need your fuel, yeah. <laughs> but you can do your uh, pour over coffee on the go. Brazilian rainforest and organic Ethiopian Chima and Honduras rainforest. Yeah. Very handy, great for travel. I know that sometimes when I travel, the coffee is really weak mm. at the hotels and sometimes the places I stay at. So I got to have some strong coffee with me. That is a must. Yeah, it's a carry. So, I mean, that'd be a cool thing to travel with, especially mm -hmm. if your place doesn't give you coffee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> have another coffee. Yeah, Copper Moon Coffee. We got some K Cups, and they also they had a bunch of brews available mm -hmm. for us to try. Uh, and they're going recently rebranded. Mm -hmm. Fair, Fair Trade. I think it was some of their Fair Trade certified coffees, and I think they work with female farmers. I thought that was a really important mission to surface because coffee is like a global commodity, and we really need to. Be thinking about where our coffee comes from. So I mean, it was really cool to hear that they were focused on fair trade and sustainability. I don't, you don't have a cake cup. I don't have a curry. <laughs> I have an espresso, <laughs> but yeah. it was cool. They did uh, obviously have the whole beans, but they had just because it was a trade show, a lot of people would use cake cups, so they had these yeah. as freebies and samples to try out. So yeah. I do have one. I have a reusable or sustainable little the pods. Uh, pods, and mm -hmm. I just grind coffee beans. Coffee tastes so much better when you right. grind it. <laughs> Fresh grounds. Yeah. yeah, but I'm looking forward to trying these. So next up, we have these electrolyte drink mixes by a company named Bolero. I live in a household that drinks a lot of Gatorade. Gatorade is just something I always have on hand, so having a nice alternative to that that's better for you yeah. is good with me. And I love that this is a concentrate. We tried the elderberry at the that was one. That was my favorite. It was delicious. <laughs> but we picked up flavors like hibiscus, mango, iced tea, coconut. I picked up watermelon and hibiscus. So these are gluten-free, sugar-free. I think they are sweetened with stevia. Yeah, stevia extract. One sachet makes 500 milliliters yes. or 16.9 fluid size. ounces. Yes, yes. So this is just easy. If you have a water bottle that you know carries about 16 ounces, pour one of these in. I think it's just something good to sip on throughout the day or if you're going hiking or traveling where you're yeah. constantly dehydrated. I know for me, sometimes after drinking, <laughs> I need some Gatorade. This is a good thing to All reach this for. All wine in this area. <laughs> I know. It's wine country life. Yes. Give me a break. <laughs> so I thought that was a really cool option. We will link them down below. Yeah. Restoring your electrolytes without as much sugar. Yeah. Yeah. You know, for athletes. <laughs> New to us are these uh, Numi Organics Daily Shots, or Super Super Shots. This is the Mind Tonic. Uh, it has cocoa, lion's mane, and reishi? Yeah, reishi. It's like reishi. a mushroom. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
superfood mushroom. This one's the immune support and it has pomegranate, elderberry, and cayenne. They are shelf stable, so I saw them just on a, a display at World Market, but I think for ideal use, you should refrigerate before you drink it just because, I don't know, I always like a cold drink. Mm -hmm. And I'm a big fan of like five hour energy, so I thought this would be like a, a tea based alternative to that. Yeah. We all know Numi tea, they make incredible teas. They're based out of Oakland. Yeah. I have the matcha one, I think it has lemongrass or some kind of citrus in it. It's in my fridge. We tasted that at the show. Yeah. They had about food. five flavors, uh -huh. I think, available. Yeah, just like for a little immunity boost. I think these can never hurt. Yeah. And this one's only 20 calories for the whole bottle, so you could have a little bit or a lot. I know the matcha one has caffeine, so you could potentially have that mm -hmm. as a pre workout. Definitely gonna be cheaper than like a juice shot you get at like a juice bar yeah. or a smoothie place. <laughs> so just a nicer option that's a little more convenient and something you can keep on hand that's not gonna expire right away. Yeah. Okay, and the very last product is this. This is the Agua Lucha the Mandarina. It's like an Agua Fresca. So this was a really cool company. They had like luchadors <laughs> at the booth. And Relaxing. They had music <laughs> and like they had a really fun interactive booth. And the guy who started it, he said that these drinks were inspired by his childhood in Mexico. So he has a bunch of different flavors. These are not widely available in Northern California yet. Uh, potentially their website, you can find a store locator. It's Agua Fresca, so 5% juice, but it has that like really sweet mm -hmm. mandarin uh, mm -hmm. orange flavor. And it is sweetened with stevia, but again, it doesn't have that stevia aftertaste because mm -hmm. That puts me off from a lot of products that contain stevia, mm. but somehow, some way, this doesn't have that. And it's made in California. Echo That's right. In California. <laughs> I know, I love that. Echo. <laughs> All right, friends, that is a wrap. Yeah. We're ready for round two. We're gonna be tasting these products over on Brand News Channel, so make sure you hit that video in the cards above or the description box below. Lots of good brands here. We're gonna link everything that we can find available online for sale so you can get your hands on the products. Make sure you hit the video with a thumbs up if you liked it, leave a comment down below, and we'll see you very soon in the next one. Bye! Bye.